Who's a good boy? Yep, so if you just wire me that two mil, that will be perfect. Yeah, so I took it at exactly 9.40. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that retrace on the three touch, that's beautiful. So I'm jumping on with Abdu in a little bit, Ibi, and I'm, ju right. I'm just finalising a few bits for the Wealth Creation Mastermind. Do you, do you know what? Is it, I was talking to Abdu about this. This is, this is bang on, right? And we've got so yeah. much room to the downside, like the gap that we've got from the previous lows. What's happening, people? What have we got here then? The organic cranberry juice, is it? Let's see how this tastes. So it is Tuesday. Oh, it tastes like shit. But I mean, this tastes incredible. Organic cranberry pure juice. This is so good for you. 100% pressed juice to give you the pure taste of crap. It's actually right but it tastes almost like a cordial that you need to dilute. You don't need to dilute this too. Who knows? Anyway, we've got work to do. Is that Mr. Raja? What? Yeah, I'm, you're interrupting my vlog. Yeah, make sure they, make sure it's exact, the exact roast state, proper high standards for my coffee beans now. I need a name anyway, have you, see, have you seen the comments? I'm, I need a name for co sit down coffee with Mark. So we've got quite a few names. What have you got for me? Alex just, Alex just turned up anyway, so we're gonna crack on with some filming. Uh, I've got a call with Ibi and Abdu a little bit later on, so we're going to go over some things for Monk Wide Month as well, because like we're pretty much done now, and November is going to be a massive, massive month. Anyway, check this gas out. So, what have we got here? So, this is a trade. This is very similar to the last trade that I took. So, this is a failure of another structure. So, what I liked about this particular position was all of this accumulation was heading towards a potential move towards this next high there. Let me just get that exact, right? It was moving towards that next high there. So when you're looking at a structure that should form continuation to move higher, almost an element of a running channel, which there's still one sign of that is if we didn't break below this low here. However, when you see the intent on the lower time frame, so this is when the lower time frames come in handy, you can see clear intention. Now I actually went down to the five on this, so this is probably closer to an AFT entry, but it started with the H4. This is the beauty of it. Lower time frame doesn't mean always analyze on the lower time frame. That's just to get a more precise entry. So you had two ways to take this. You technically had that'd be 12, yeah, 12 hours, and you still could have taken it just as a pure H4. That would have been fine. So pretty much all time zones. Could have took a limit play there as well if you understand the AFT side of it. But then you had the lower time frame entry, which is right here. So I'm assuming many people got in either there, if it was in a different time zone, or if you're in London, New London, Europe, then you would have got in roughly around 9.20 to 9.40, anywhere between there. So beautiful trade, let's see how it runs. I've just left it at break even for now because we've got a solid one hour close, lovely four hour close. And then if we go to the four hour here, if we can get another solid four hour close, that would be beautiful. So we'll see how that one goes. So I'm just going through some bits for the Dubai Mastermind. It's crazy to think that we're pretty much in November. So we've got like three and a half to four weeks until the Wealth Creation Mastermind. You know, we had the one last year in Dubai and now we've got the Dubai Yacht Party for the funded traders. Do you know what I'm really, really excited about this year is I could pick out about six to seven people individually that were at that event last year that were trading roughly anywhere between 60, 80 to 100K. And every single one of those individuals have leveled up closer towards half a million. Most of them 400K, but you've got a couple half a million. That just shows you the difference if just what one year. Now, it doesn't mean you come to buy you le you level up permanently and it's like 100% guaranteed. That's, that's not how it works, but there is, there is a power in surrounding yourself with winners. And a lot of the times our egos are at the door. We don't want to surround ourselves with high level people because it comes at a cost, it comes at a price. You have to invest into yourself and you think, well, you'll just figure all this out by yourself. But very, very slim chance that that happens. When you're around the right people that are doing what you want to do and they have the answers, 
they will speed up your learning curve and your growth rapidly like you can possibly imagine. What could take you six years can happen in one year. Just one day at a time, people. That's all you need to do. Stop trying to rush everything. To get him in the position that he is now, and then we can sit and dissect it and gain value from it. It's gonna be so many valuable conversations inside of like setting goals and, and preparations for next year. I'm really looking forward to it. Do you, do you know what? I was talking to Abdu about this. This is, this is bang on, right? Isn't it interesting how you can take someone who doesn't have the right traits, is not working at the same level of uh, intensity, be surrounded by people that are doing that, and then they realize, oh shit, I'm not working anywhere near as hard as what I should do. Because, because me and Abdu is having this conversation about, and we all do this, we get to a level where we think our technicals are better than what they are. And because they're not as good as what they think they are, we feel like, oh, we should deserve like, these results, right? We all do it, every trade has gone through that. And then when you meet someone, say within the community that is like vigorously going through their ASR like in so much more detail and they're finding uh, solutions to the problems of like the trades that they're taking. And then they have that realization, it's like, I thought my technicals were really good. And then they realize that the work ethic isn't there. I think that is gonna be one of the biggest moments for many people at that event more than anything and the, the springboard effect that that would do for 2025 just like it did last year is going to be on a completely different level right so these are the beans that i've been using i'm getting better and better at my espresso pour so i've got more here i need to get one of those airtight tubs i mean these are sealed but it's not the same is it so let me know if anyone knows which one to get but i've also got look at this organic date syrup so we're going to try a little bit of that but I'm actually gonna to head to this place where I get these beans because I made a coffee for my mum this morning and I had like a, a small coffee this morning. So I'm getting better and better at pouring this. So I need to re-go back and try how he makes it and see how close I am. Let's go. This is where we buy the beans. Here we have our cappuccino. I think it's really nice. So we have our coffees. It's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. See where the hidden gem this spot is. It is always strange coming to this town, like where I grew up, and you just see how much different it was. Like the bus stop back there is where I used to get off in town before I get on another bus to go home. So we are back. I'm nearly getting on the level of this guy's coffee. So I have these beans. So I'm always going in to compare. This was a good coffee. Alex, you enjoyed this coffee, right? Really nice, mate. Yeah, really nice. this was it's like velvety. We need to get a scoring system. We need to get some kind of scoring system. What could it be? I wouldn't even know how we score it, but anyway, we'll, we'll find a way, but we'll get that on the channel. I appreciate all of the comments about the names as well. So we've got raw beans, spill the beans. There's loads in there, but I need some more, right? I need in the comments, I need some better names. We're there, but we're not quite there yet. Anyway, what do I want to talk to you about? So leaving a trade open, by the way, so that's running at around 1%. We've pulled back a little bit. I did think we might get some form of a running channel, so that was my instinct in the first place anyway, but look, I've taken some phenomenal trades this month. It's finished really, really strong. I can afford to let this one breathe. So if it comes back up, tags me up for break even, not a big deal, we move on to the next trade. But what I'm excited about is November in particular, because of course we're in an election year. What you have to recognize is when the market gives you opportunities, you need to strike. What I see traders do wrong, just in general, they let outside circumstances in their life dictate how focused and how on the board that they are. Listen, it would be lovely in an ideal world that when there's nothing going on in your life and you don't have as much stress, that's when you're all in. No, when these things happen, you need to double down on investing into yourself. Opportunities are never convenient. And now you're in a unique position where it's not December, this is the end of October. You still have time to plan, prep, get ready get some notes down so you know exactly what you're gonna focus on for November. Then you have the whole of November to crack on, move forward, build some good habits, make sure that you're making good inroads into developing the traits and the skills of how to think and behave like a profitable trader or just getting your life in order. Like these things are important as well. And then you can go into December No, I'm right. I've got some momentum now. I've got some good momentum behind me. I know what I'm doing. I'm surrounded by the right people. Maybe I didn't have the best year or maybe I thought I'd be further along in life this year and it hasn't happened well listen this is how life works you're you're never going to be able to pick out the date and time when things go well for you but what you can do is at least when things don't go right you brush it off you move forward you create another plan and then you go again 
that's what served me very well in my life. I have not had a smooth life. It's been up and down, it's been a roller coaster. I've had to deal with a lot of things recently as well, managing all kinds of things for family, but you just have to show up and it's, it's not always convenient, guys. Do you know what I'm excited about for next year in particular? If I think about the capital allocation that we've got on the fund this year, we have smashed our targets. Now, could I look at it and go, oh, it would have been nicer if we had more millions in allocation for the students? Of course it would. But I know that goal of 100 million in funding is inevitable. So it's gonna happen, but it's impossible for me to go, oh, this is the time that it's gonna happen, this is the day. I can't control that, but guess what? I can control my commitment levels and I show up every single day, every single Friday night, every single Saturday morning. I'm doing minimum of six days a week of work and I don't even need to. But for me, it's like, why wouldn't I? I love what I do. When I, even when I was on my honeymoon, I absolutely loved my honeymoon. I was still working, I was still doing these things. I, I love, I love being in the thick of it. It's where I feel alive. It's where I feel the most energetic, really and truly. So big finish to the end of the year. I hope you guys are absolutely crushing it as well. And for whatever reason, whatever you're going through, it doesn't matter if life's getting a little bit difficult. This is all part of the process. Your story will be way more enjoyable in the future when you look back and go, when it was super difficult this year, I still persevered. As cliche as that sounds, that's what life is about. Like you're never gonna look back when things are difficult and think, oh, I really wish it wasn't that way. You'll recognize I actually got through this and now I've got the mental fortitude to go again. So if I get hit with a curveball, I'm confident I can deal with it and still navigate my emotions.